in the next few videos we're going to show you how to create your own. But here you can see if you like it or not. You're familiar with most of the uh, expressions. You have your fixed expenses, variable expenses, emotional expenses and necessary expenses. And you've seen in one of the other videos that we have account balances, income, totals, and pay yourself first. Now this is how it works. We assumed for this example that you are in your early 20s, you work an employment job, and you have a second job in a restaurant where you get some tips. You have your fixed expenses, variable, emotional, necessary. Let's fill them all in. And please keep in mind, this is all variable. This is just a sample. It's just an idea to show you how it works. Your reality is totally different, but you can customize it the way you have it. So let's assume that your cash envelope or your cash you have stashed at home is filled with $50 at the present time. And your bank account, you have $1,000. Your visa balance, which means posted transactions, is minus $750. It is minus because you owe the money in the pending transactions, which are transactions which you just spent maybe 10 minutes ago, and they appear as pending transactions. In a day or so, they will move over to the visa negative balance. The pending transactions right now are minus 100. Let's assume further your employment income is being paid every month, which is 12 times a year. And each year after taxes and after deductions, you make $2,700. You see the formulas are set up already. 12 times 2,700 is 32.4. You also work a restaurant job, and that pays you um, 26 times every second week, 26 times per year, $750. And the formulas again are set up a total of 19.5. The tip pool gets divided every week, so 52 times per year, and there you get approximately 200 could be more could be less now let's have a look on our fixed expenses since there are so many we divided them in four groups debt repayment home living and transportation again you customize those to your own needs and requirements let's assume you have some personal debt you have a personal loan and you have to pay that 12 times per year every month and let's assume you have to pay $80. Your student loan again is being paid every month and there you have to pay $125. Your tax outstanding because your accountant tells you after you handed in all your tax information and you did not get enough taxes deducted on your tips and restaurant, it tells you that you have to pay a, make a one-time payment of $1,200. Might be that, might be less, might be a refund, who knows, but it's always good to have it in there. Now, let's further assume you live as a renter, you don't own your home, you rent, and you pay your rent 12 times per year, and every month you pay $850. Your utilities, you also pay monthly, and they are $120 per month. Your insurance for your couch TV equipment and everything is paid once per year, and that costs you $300. And let's assume further that you figure two times per year you need to pay some maintenance cost for $250. Now your living expenses, internet, phone and TV also gets paid 
monthly $110. Health and dental, you hope to get away with four times per year at $250. And memberships you pay on a monthly basis at $75 per month. Transportation, let's assume you own a used car, you have car insurance, and that is being charged monthly, $150. You also use the subway, your subway ticket is being paid monthly, that costs you $75. Snow tires and storage for those two times per year costs a hundred dollars and maintenance and repair oil change maybe four times per year of three hundred dollars. Those are assumptions at the present time but they're conservative, they're realistic, hopefully they're no more and maybe they are less. Pay yourself first, that's a whole different section, a whole different video. For now, let's assume you pay into your investments every time you get paid at your employment, main employment, 12 times per year. So each time you get a paycheck, you take money out. Let's assume you do that $200 per paycheck. Your safety, pay yourself first, gets paid according to your restaurant job. So there you get a payment twice every second week. So 26 times. And there you take $40 out. Now let's look at our variable expenses. Visa we leave out for the moment. Home furnishings and decorations. We want to spend money on two times per year when we go shopping. And we allocate $500 per trip. On vacations also, two times we want to allocate $1,200. Birthdays, we have six people to buy something for and we spend $80 each time for the same people. Six, again $80 for Christmas or any other holiday. Then we like fishing and every month we pay a hundred dollars on fishing equipment. Same thing with sports. Every month we pay one hundred dollars. Now let's go to our emotional weekly cash. We had that in our brainstorming session. So every week, which is 52 times per year, we allocated $300. And now our monthly visa expenses, we determined already every time we go for food and household, and we said in a month we go four times, and each time we spend $80. So let's put it in here. Four times $80 is $320. Two times per month we fill up. 2 times 65 is 130. In restaurants, we go out two times for $200 is 400. Shopping in the mall, again, two times. Movie night, two times per month. Sports, four times and other four times. So our current expenses for this month only, which are in our necessary category, are $1,400. We put this as a reminder here, and then we transfer this over here. Visa, $1,400, and we need that 12 times per year. But hold on, here it has been allocated already for one month so we only need it 11 times on this side. Now we have it. We have all our expenses. We have all our accounts, income, and totals. 
and what do we find out? For the year, we are three and a half thousand dollars short. That is not good. So, where can we cut back? The lighter the color, the easier to cut back. So on our fixed expenses, that's hard to do. You cannot go to the landlord and say, I only pay $800 for now. So therefore, we have to see what we can do on our yellow emotional expenses. So if we were to pay on our birthdays instead of $80, we only pay $70 and we do the same thing at Christmas, what changes? We're a little bit ahead. We're only at 3,400 minus now. Now what else can we cut back? What if we don't have to buy fishing or hobby gear every month, only eight times? Let's see what happens then. Same thing with the sports gear, only 8,000, eight times per year. So we're down to minus 2,600, still not enough. Now let me show you the magic of emotional weekly cash expenses. If we take only those $300 down to 250 per week, and that is possible, our shortfall is zero. This is very powerful. Let me do this again. $300 per week puts us in the hole. But if we reduce this to 250, we're breaking even. This is the beauty of this cockpit. You always can play, change your amounts and adjust. Life happens. Sometimes we spend more, sometimes we spend less. But with this setup, you always will be able to adjust to land at the year end at zero. You're living within your means. My life, my friend, will take you there. Enjoy the ride.